Hello, faithful viewers, and welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. For today, I'll be reviewing Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 3, Gridlock. In this episode, the Doctor decides to bring Marta to New New York, or just New Earth in general, and we get to see a different part of New New York in this rather than the apple grass parts of the upper levels from New Earth. And it kind of like the slums, like where big rats live. Before I talk about that, I just want to talk about what the, what they're doing before the doctor decided to bring her to New York. There, he was just deciding that he might extend the invitation to Martha, like one trip to the past or to the future, and he's suggesting, but well, he suggested another planet, and he just resuscitated his world. Or his planet, it's it's he's just called Planet Time Lords. Even I don't get why people are saying that the Doctor species is a is Time Lord. Time Lord is just like like a, a title, like Sir Elton John or something. It's not it's the name of the species. The species is Galactic. Got a frame. Anyway, he's just describing how great Gallifrey is. Just having some lines from the past Doctor Who episode. And now, just outright lying to him. Lying to her. And I don't think this Doctor has lied that much. No, well, at least as much as the 11th one. So, probably the first time he lied. Yeah. Anyway, to get to the slums of New New York, New New York, find find out that there's some mood drugs. Yeah, mood, mood drugs sounds good. But, but I don't think there's some no the treaties that well, well, well two because I don't know one of them is mood. The two that don't count as mood is forget. And sleep. Oh yeah, there's actually a fourth one called called honesty or something. I don't get. I really don't know if it is nude is bliss. You can you can feel bliss, but I don't know if if it's actually a mood, like an emotion or anything. Like to have happy anger. All the moods, like commotions, but bliss. And the order of three. I don't know what Russell T. Davis was thinking when he wrote that, wrote that in. Um, before the doctor could do anything about it, the martyr gets captured by these two and finds out that there's a whole city in the like, like a in a traffic jam with, with, with people in like RVs or floating RVs and just, they're just stuck down there and, are some, and I think there's some great lines in this episode by David Tennant like the the talk down gives to the drug peddlers or the stuff with Noah's Haim and the face bow you ever see them again um, and the, the, I think the Doctor in this episode is a bit more cold than the others. Like saying that they're, the people are, aren't coming for the underground RV people. And, and they're, they're just proving them wrong by saying that the, the, they might not be getting help but they still have each other. Like everyone in the in the RVs are with each other, so it doesn't really matter if they can help or not. And I take um, the traffic jam is just mad. Like I say, it takes them about six years to go to go ten miles. That is just nuts. 
a defect for some that maybe a, a card or something. I don't know what the act I see are so it's just great for to ta for the for ta town seven. Just was great for that year. I bet we could we could do could do more this this year but hmm. And oh yeah we got introduced with three new musical music uh teams. Three great ones. Like here like uh Doctor Forever, very heroic, and that, and all the strange, strange creatures, very creep, very uh, um, not very, not very creepy, people just, just a bit like cause, like you seem cautious about or something. Um, the second for the face bow uh, song as uh, music number, uh, music uh, bow, a bit sad, but also a bit up uplifting, a bit. You can actually feel like I don't know what actually you can feel, but you feel something when you hear that. It's just good. Uh, let's see. And I, I think I like a bit where Noah's Hain finds Dr. Andy Hogg and he just says, Get off the last time I saw you. You're breeding humans for fermentation. It's just hilarious. I and mean, they look at the guy's face. Who they're in the car, car or something, then it's just good. It just and the guy looks a very British with the border hat and that. It's just, it's just great. I think this is a good episode, but I wouldn't place it as one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, and Martin, this has some good stuff as well. Like thinking stuff over about being with the doctor and her parents not knowing where she, she is, and her just her belief that the doctor would save her and that uh, turn off the the light or the engines to the van to stop the ma eye from the creatures from coming. And oh yeah, the creatures they're the macra. Oh. A kind of lobster or crab, like aliens. They used to be in Doctor Who. And I think I think they just they just ruin them in this. Like the last thing they're in in the class series was Warriors of the Deep, and a lot of people hate that episode. I can barely remember it, but I don't. But say it was bad. And this is just pun. Just making it. The macro wars. Could just did an, any order make up a new species that was crab like? Why did they use the macro? It makes no sense. They were intelligent for peace's sake. They they were they were all real real worlds. They were they were like dominators. That slaves in that. But that was a mindless creatures. Oh god. But I think I am off the topic here. This episode isn't for in code from the villains being in it. It's more emotional based episode. The doctor feeling guilty about bring Marta to this place and getting captured. Yeah, I don't think that's the thing, but yeah. um, Martha second guessing being the doctor. And just the doctor feeling about that you lied about about Gallifrey and that. And the last scene in this is just great. Just them talking and it's all about Gallifrey, the war and just just good. And the song that the people on the highway says that uh, sings I can barely understand it, and when they're singing it, I don't think. I think they're just. They're just they're, 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 I can't. Their lip movement is in, the, in line. I can't tell who's singing in this. Ugh. Anyway, I give this a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, and next episode. 
I, I just pray that it's actually I just say it's goofy has some sick stuff so really really sick stuff and that's to be one of the worst episodes that Doctor Who has ever done. I'll see you later.